Willie Anderson is a Conservative Member of Parliament for Ashfield. He is Deputy Chairman of the Conservative Party. He's also a GB News presenter on Friday evenings. And Lee joins me down the line from his constituency. Lee, not for the first time, you have caused total and utter outrage. Uh, I listened to the Today programme on the BBC. They were barely able to control themselves because you've told illegal immigrants to F off back to France if they don't like going on the barges, the Bibby Stockholm, in Portland Harbour. Um, Lee, you know, all of us at times in life go a bit too far and we need to admit perhaps we've made a bit of a mistake. Um, are you apologising for the words you've uttered? No. Um, do you not think the use of the F word in this context was perhaps bad taste? No. I'll tell you what it was, Nigel. It's born out of frustration. It's born out of me being absolutely furious. Not just me that's being furious, my, my constituents and, and millions of people up and down the country, and I guess including yourself uh, in this as well. They are furious, the fact that these... And I hate the word asylum seekers because they're not. They're illegal economic migrants that are coming over in their thousands there and they're being enabled by these charities. And the nerve of it, Nigel, I've been to Cali. I've seen these migrants living I in one-man tents, living in absolute squalor. Then they get here and we do our best. We bend over backwards to put them in decent accommodation. And all of a sudden they get a choice. Let's not forget, Nigel, this barge... We've got workmen in the oil industry, grafters, living on these barges, doing a good job for this great country of ours, and they never complain once. It makes me sick to the pit of my stomach when these lefty lawyers, the, the charities, the human rights campaigners, say it's not good enough. And like I say, if it's not good enough, then they should go back to France. In stronger words. In stronger words. No, no, absolutely. Um, now, Care for Calais say that many of these people have been through traumatic journeys across the Mediterranean, and perhaps across the English Channel too, and therefore they can't go on the barge because they have a fear of water. Do you not have some sympathy for yeah. the Care for Calais argument? No, not at all, Nice. I've met, I've met these people that work for Care for Calais. Look, if they've got a fear of water, what the hell are they doing getting on a rubber dinghy, 52, you know, 52 a rubber dinghy and crossing the channel, the most dangerous shipping lane in the world? If anybody believes that argument, that they're scared of water, and quite frankly, they need carting off somewhere. Lee, we've got you as a party deputy chairman. We've got the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman. We've got lots of tough talk. And yet, let's be frank, let's be honest, it's your government, which you've been, you know, you've been there in the Commons since 2019. Yeah. You have overseen yeah. this total failure. And you may use the F word. And Suella may talk about life sentences for dodgy solicitors. But isn't the truth of it, your party has completely and utterly failed everyone? Listen, Nigel, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses to anyone. This is out of control. We're, the, you know, we're in power at the moment. I'm, I'm uh, as you say, the deputy chair of the Conservative Party. We're in government and we have failed on this. There's, there's no doubt about it. You know, we said we're going to fix it. It is a failure. Look, we have got policies in place. And I know it's, it's a bit hard for the British public at the moment to to actually, you know, understand what we're trying to do with the Rwanda flights uh, and, and the changing legislation, the illegal migration bill. And it seems very slow. It's cumbersome. We're up against it, Nigel. Let's be honest. We've got the lefty lawyers. We've got the, the human rights campaigners. We've got the charities. Everything's against us. But no, it's, I'm not making excuses. It's slowing us down. You know, if the whole of Parliament and um, was behind us in this, I, I'm sure this would have got through by now. But look, I'm not going to sit here, Nigel, and make excuses. It makes me sick. Every time I see a boat come across the channel, it makes me furious when I see them putting hotels and on barges. And, and I've been contacted tonight by a soldier, an old soldier that served in, in Ireland in the 70s. And he told me that he was 19 years old in Northern Ireland and they were cramped in these barracks. They couldn't leave for 20 hours a day and they weren't sure whether or not they were, was going to come home yeah. alive. Now, if we can treat our own soldiers like that, then these migrants need to look up and think no. this is a great country. I get the point. The Napier barracks in folks that in Kent were good enough for national servicemen, but not yeah. good enough for those that cross the channel. Lee, we get your frustration uh, and we thank you uh, for not using all the language you used about this a couple of days ago. Thank you.